Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to create a histogram. Now according to Wikipedia, a histogram is a graphical representation showing a visual impression of the distribution of data. It consists of a tabular frequency shown as adjacent rectangles erected over a discrete interval where the, equal, where the area is equal to the frequency of observation in the interval. Boy, that was a mouthful. But really, in the most simplest terms, a histogram is basically a bar chart that uh, shows the frequencies over some ranges. And so that's one that's kind of the easiest explanation I, that I can provide. And I'll show you how to create a histogram uh, using two methods. One you can use it use a pivot table and the other one using the data's data analysis tool in Excel. So let's go and use the first example with a pivot. Let me go over here. Now with the pivot, let's say that I've got a set of scores. Maybe these, these are scores in a classroom. Now these set of scores, we can create a pivot table out of this. So I'll go to insert pivot table and in the create pivot table uh, dialog box, I'm just going to put it in the worksheet here. I'm just going to put it up here in cell C2. Click OK and all I want to do is just have the row label for the scores and do a count of those scores, not the sum, the count. So I'm going to click there, go to value field settings, and do count. Click on count, click OK. So right now you can see that it, only, it counts it once, uh, where it only shows up once. What we want to do is have these in groupings. To group these values, what you need to do is go ahead and select any cell within the pivot table and right click, go to group, and let's group these. Let's start this at 10. Start this at 10, 10 and end at 100, and we're going to group it by tens. Click OK, and you can see now that it is grouped it from 50 to 59. It's counted 6, 60 to 69, 3, and the counts for the rest of the groupings. Now what we want to do now is turn this into a pivot chart. So let's go ahead and close this pivot table field list, give us ourselves some room, and we already selected the cell. We can just go under the, it's already under the pivot table tools options and under the tools grouping, just click pivot chart. And we'll just go ahead and select the common, the column chart and click OK. And now we've got our column chart. And all we need to do now is do some, some formatting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid, right click, get rid of hide all field buttons on this, get rid of the legend here, click this and oops, click that and delete. And get rid of the grid lines here, delete that, click that and delete. And what I want to do is also to make this a histogram we need to f reduce those gaps. So you can select the one of the bars and right click and go into format data series and in the series option under the gap width just make that gap zero. You can either type zero here or just move this bar over to zero and click close. Now the rest of it is just additional formatting. Let's just make this look nice. I'll go ahead and under the chart styles, maybe I'll select uh, the beveled shape style. And under layout, go ahead and give it a title. I'll call that scores. You can see that it selected it and I, I'm up here in the formula bar typing scores in, press enter and it should update that. Under access titles, the horizontal title below. I'm going to call this one ranges press enter and in the axis title on the vertical I'm going to select this rotated tile and just call that frequency and then press enter and now we can see that we have our histogram via a pivot table now we want to try using the hist creating a histogram with the data analysis tools and I'm going to go ahead and I've already copied this down and put it into sheet 2 now the difference with doing it in a using the data analysis tool which we have here under analysis data analysis if you don't have this available you have to add it in and to add this in you just go under file options and the Excel options window will come up go under add-ins and you'll, if it's not already there I had it selected so it's an active application add-in if it's not there you want to go into the Excel add-ins this window comes up and if I didn't have this checked off, this wouldn't be here. So uh, you should check that off and then you'll get the data analysis option available. Click OK. 
And so what we want to do that's a little bit different here with using the data analysis feature is we want to create our our bins, basically our ranges. So we have our ranges here. And so we want to create some ranges here. So we're going to create our ranges here or our bins and then I'm just going to go ahead and type ranges here and start to create the bins. 10, 20 and press enter. And what I'm going to do is select these two cells and select the fill handle and drag it down. And Excel is actually pretty smart to know that as I drag these down, it's going to increment it by 10. And I'm going to go ahead and stop at 90 here. And you'll see why when we go ahead and create the histogram. Now we're going to go to the data tab and go ahead and click under data analysis. And when the data analysis window comes up, we're going to select histogram here. Go ahead and click OK and you can see I did this earlier so it's already had some of the selections so basically I'm selecting cells A2 to A16 I'm selecting that range and that for my input range and my bin range I'm going to go ahead and select cell C2 to C10 now if I selected from C1 to C10 and A1 to A16 I would click off this check mark with labels to sh include the labels here but since I didn't, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. For my output range, it's going to be E2 here, and I'm going to select Chart Output. So when I click OK, it's actually going to create a frequency table and also going to create the chart, the histogram chart. Go ahead and click OK. And now you see our frequency table here and our histogram. So there's some things we actually need to adjust here. First, in the frequency table, we need to change this to our range our ranges. So this is going to be from 0 to 10 and this one is going to be 11 to 20 and etc for the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and just speed this up a little bit 21 to 30 and you notice that the last one it, it it put more but we can just go ahead and since we know that our scores aren't going to be above 100 here this is from a 0 to 100 score we're going to say from 91 to 100 press enter and now as we updated that you can see that it's updated the histogram table here so I'm going to just go ahead and make this a little bit longer so we can view it a little bit better and also with the histogram that we did with the pivot table, this is not really a truly true histogram until we reduce the gaps there. So I'm going to click there, and you can see that the bars are selected. Right click and go under Format Data Series, and with the gap width here that we did earlier, I'm going to go ahead and change, move that over to zero. Go and click Close, and now we've got our histogram here. You can get rid of the legend here. Press that, and, and then press Delete and now it's just formatting so we can just make it look nice and pretty under design maybe I'll have it go under the orange beveled style and now we have our histogram and you can see one of the main differences between creating a histogram with the data analysis uh, feature and the pivot table is with the data analysis feature we have our bins here that we've identified from 0 to 100 with the uh, ranges from 10, uh, excuse me, with the increments of 10. Now, with the pivot table, you can see that we weren't able to select that when we did the grouping. It only groups based on what was available. And with the data analysis feature, since we've identified the bins separately, it shows that for us. And so that's kind of one of the differences. So you can pick and choose which ones you like better, either creating the histogram via the pivot table or creating it via the data analysis feature uh, to your own liking. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.